the most painful thing for a phd research student or master student or even an academician is research gap how to find that one research gap that will basically get me the phd or the masters or the research grant that i so badly want now let's look into how we can find that research gap i'm going to dive into five important methods that you can actually probably a combination of those to find that one research gap but before that before that i'm not going to dive in so quickly what you guys need to do is very simple subscribe like and make sure you share this post all right and if you have any questions at all comment comment and keep that comments coming all right now let's get started number 1 citation analysis all right what is citation analysis citation analysis is basically jump into a paper that is very very highly cited all right but no point looking at that paper because that paper is probably obsolete by now if it's so highly cited it have taken few years to get that amount of citations i'm talking about 5000 10000 citations kind of thing okay in your particular area obviously go to google scholar look at how many papers in recent times have cited that one paper okay so you can look at all the latest trends from that you can deduce a literature matrix based on all, all the latest paper to check the progress where the technology or that particular problem is currently heading towards that can be a potential research gap number 2 content analysis all right content what is content content analysis is a qualitative method where you crunch through the content of a material you crunch and crunch introduction problem statement uh, literature review you try to understand everything you try to find that one edge that one thing that the author probably missed out or that one thing that you can progress further you can for an example electric vehicle okay electric vehicle is something created or something came something came in re, uh, not actually recent yes very long time but Elon Musk managed to replace gasoline engine with full electric uh, battery which is not a problem those days okay but when you know a lot of energy crisis came in that became a solution all right a solution not needed years ago but now it is the talk in the market so find that edge so folks before we continue any further for any kind of support in terms of proofreading and research consultancy services you may visit proofreadingbyphd.com we provide all kind of services including language proofreading paraphrasing structuring editing formatting translation and for consultancy this is consultancy publication consultancy quantitative qualitative viva examiner correction this is to general conversion and others and workshops method number 3 meta analysis okay meta analysis is a bit complex because you need to crunch the numbers you need to crunch the numbers of current statistical data to find a particular gap that you want to look into a particular uh, a phenomena or phenomenon or correlation analysis that doesn't make sense all right meta analysis it's a bit more complex but it's definitely doable now next method very very easy one actually i wouldn't say very easy i have to be fair to you know newcomers as well it's not exactly very very easy but it's doable don't forget this method is related to the last video that i made 12 steps to make systematic review make sure you go and watch that video all right systematic review is a very good method for you to look for a gap or scoping review for that matter both you can you can definitely interchangeably use follow prisma method go through the entire literature review process to find that one gap for a systematic review inclusion exclusion and all that matters uh you can definitely go and watch my previous video right final way to find that one research gap go to every thesis there is go to different different uh, i mean various platforms go and uh, look at future work of any papers publication analyze synthesize through future work try to figure out how can you make use of that as a new idea new venture for your study phd masters or your grant application all right so these are the fabulous five ways to find your research gap may you do your research very well and thank you for following me and keep watching this space for the next upcoming videos thank you